Today I'm going to show you the best fluffy egg sandwich I've ever made. And the secret is this delicious sauce. This is going to be good. Okay, so recently on my YouTube recommended page, I saw this fluffy egg video from Cooking Haru. You got to check out this YouTube channel. A lot of good stuff going on over there. But this sandwich, this one right here, it got my attention and I had to try it. So here we go. I had to get ingredients for this recipe, so I'm off to the grocery store. And instead of using the bacon that the original video uses uh, in the recipe, I'm going to opt for Spam. You can definitely use bacon, turkey bacon. I also need to pick up some mayonnaise. And this is my favorite mayonnaise, so I'm gonna get some. I had to stop by the bakery next door to get some of this milk bread. Actually, this one was a soft cream bread, but I did get a loaf of milk bread for this recipe. Why not, right? But you can use regular. Now I'm ready to make this. So there's three sauces or mixtures involved. The first one is softened butter, mayo, I'm eyeballing things. I will link the original video so you can get the exact measurements. Here I'm eyeballing some honey, yes, butter, mayo, honey. I know you're thinking this might be weird, just trust the process. Here I'm adding fresh parsley. This is a clove of pressed garlic, or I'm gonna scrape that in there, it's kind of crushed. And now give it a really good mix. Like I said, trust the process. It might seem strange to put sweet and garlic and butter together, but it's gonna work. I also found this like flavorful herb garlic salt. I'm just gonna add a dash, that's optional. By the way, another reminder that my Facebook page, Simply Mama Cooks, was hacked. It's being run by hackers. They changed the name to Simply Cooks. Be sure to report, unfollow, and block. So for sauce number two, this is quite simple. And again, you may think this is strange, but it's mayonnaise and sweetened condensed milk. When I first saw this video, I thought, hmm, I'm not sure, but trust me, again, trust the process, it totally works. So I'm just gonna give this a good mix. By the way, I wanna to mention to my commenters that said for me to put a ticker not to go to Facebook, I just thought that might be visually annoying, but I like the idea. I might do it in the future if I don't get my page back. So for sauce number three, it was a combination of mayo and sriracha, but I'm going to add my mayonnaise, and again, eyeballing everything, but instead of sriracha, I'm adding chipotle salsa, or it's a hot sauce made of chipotle peppers. I like the flavor of chipotle, but you can go with sriracha. I'm gonna give it a good mix. And when it comes to spice level, add more of your sriracha or chipotle hot sauce. It's really up to you. So that's the third sauce. Now I'm going to work on toasting the bread. On a low heat, I preheated my griddle. Now I'm gonna spread that garlic mayo honey mixture over the bread on one side, and I'm going to gently and lightly toast it. Because this has fresh garlic in it, you don't want to burn the garlic. So take your time toasting this on one side. I'm just trying to do exactly what the video did and they only put it on one side. You can do both if you want. So this is done. Now I'm going to wipe off the same griddle and start to fry up my Spam. And I cut it really thin. You could see it moves easily and bends. So I'm adding the Spam and it's not gonna take very long to heat this up. So while the Spam is cooking, I started to think, hey, maybe just um, you guys don't go to my hacked Facebook page and interact with it. Don't click on links. Report it, unfollow, and block. Okay, so the Spam is ready working on my eggs. Four large eggs going into a bowl or cup here. I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of sugar. Again, trust the process. I'm gonna add that right into the egg mixture. Add six tablespoons of whole milk. I'm using half and half and give it a good mix. In a preheated pan with cooking oil, I'm gonna add the eggs. And in the video, they used chopsticks to kind of move the egg around, break it up, kind of fluff it up. So I attempted to do that, but eventually I just ended using my silicone spatula here. <laughs> so use what you've got, use the technique you like, and also cook your eggs to your desired doneness. If you like them runny, then go for it. This is where I like them. And I'm just gonna let the residual heat 
cook the egg because the cast iron skillet does hold heat for a longer period of time. It's time to assemble this. I've got my toast. I've got my sliced of American processed cheese. Use the cheese you like. I'm just going with the recipe. Now I'm going to add my spam and I'm going to layer it. In the video, I think they use like two slices of bacon. Put as much or as little as you like. I think the saltiness of the spam and the sweetness throughout this recipe, it just hits all the right notes. Now I'm going to add my fluffy eggs. They are so perfect and beautiful. I love them. And I also finished them with salt. I didn't add salt in the mixture. Here I've added two of the sauces in little baggies because that's what I'm going to use to drizzle it over the sandwich. So just cut and drizzle. This is the mayo with sweetened condensed milk, some parsley, and the chipotle mayo mixture. And ta-da! This is my fluffy egg sandwich that is amazing. I suggest you give it a try and form your own opinion. But I think this is the best fluffy egg sandwich I've ever made. So good. And I will see you in the next video.